In this video, we're going to take a look at a different type of age problem, where we're asked to find how long until a certain relationship occurs. We are told that Lois is 26 years old, her daughter is 4 years old, and we want to know in how many years will Lois be double her daughter's age. As with all of our age problems, we'll organize our information in our tic-tac-toe table with our name, what's happening now, and the change, which we'll fill in in a moment. The two people we're dealing with are Lois and her daughter. We'll represent them with L and D. Right now, we are told that Lois is 26 years old. Let's plug that into Lois's age right now. Her daughter right now is 4 years old. This time, we are asked, in how many years? The implication is we're moving forward in time, so we know we need to add for our last column, but what we don't know is how much we're going to add. We don't know the amount of time, so this time, we will add x. That's what we're looking for in this problem. We can proceed in much the same way by taking Lois's age of 26 and adding x, or some unknown amount of time. Same for the daughter. We will add x, or some unknown amount of time. Now that the table is filled in, we look at the last part of the problem to find out what's happening in the future. Lois is going to be double her daughter's age. B is a form of the verb is, or to be. That will be our equals. Lois will be, or equal, double two times her daughter's age. Again, notice that as we make this equation, we pay no attention to the time change or the table. We simply are describing the relationship in the future. We can then marry the equation and the table by replacing Lois with our cell that represents Lois in the future, 26 plus x equals 2d. We'll replace that with the cell that represents the daughter in the future, 4 plus x. We now have an equation we can quickly solve. We can start solving by distributing through the parentheses to get 26 plus x equals 8 plus 2x. Moving the variables all to one side, we will subtract x from both to get 26 equals 8 plus x. Finally, we can get the x alone by subtracting 8 from both sides. We find out x is equal to 18 x is that unknown amount of time we are adding. In 18 years, Lois will be double her daughter's age. In 18 years, the daughter will be 22, and Lois will be 44. When we don't know the amount of time that's passing, we'll simply add x and follow the same patterns we have solved for all of our other age problems.